Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. We are gathered here today at the funeral of Cole. I have been asked to deliver a eulogy, and I hope it will be entertaining, but it will speak to the life of Cole. I understand a colleague of mine has already spoken on Cole, but I have yet to hear these words I'm about to speak about Cole. You know, Cole has not had an easy life, ladies and gentlemen. Millions of years ago, swamps and forests had sediments overlaying on top of them. And over millions of years, the pressure lithified those swamps and forests into coal. So today, coal comes to us after such a heavy process of birth. But even then, we are not satisfied. We judge coal, ladies and gentlemen. We say coal has three stages that are useful to us. We have lignite, which is almost useless, and we throw it to the side. And then we have bituminous coal, which will burn in our power station. And then finally, we have something fantastic called anthracite coal, which we sell to make money. Oh, woe is you, Cole, for today we come to shake our fists at you and say you are worthless because you cause so much environmental damage. We forget, ladies and gentlemen, that coal has given itself and all of itself for us. The Industrial Revolution, gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, brought us from the Dark Ages into our present civilization, and it was driven by the burning of coal. But nay, not today. Today we say clean technology, we thump our fists, we say, you coal are worthless tonight. So we cast him aside, and yet I shall be the only one who shall play devil's advocate and speak on behalf of coal. It is not enough, ladies and gentlemen, that coal supplies us with over 30.3% of our total world electricity, 40.2% of our total energy output in the entire world presently today is supplied by coal. And in our country, 93% of our total electrical output is done by coal. But nay, ladies and gentlemen, we shall cast him aside. Look at him, the black suited mess that is coal we do not want him anymore because he is no longer sexy. This, ladies and gentlemen, is what I come to speak to you about. That we might remember that coal is not a product that we must simply throw aside, considering that there are enough reserves to take us 130 years into the future. Yes, let's bring out the new emerging technologies, but let's not leave coal behind. It is our greed that has made coal what it is today. He himself speaks. I heard him speak to me once and say, learn my lessons, all you new technologies. For once, I was the precious child that drove innovation, that drove the economies. But today, I'm looked upon, I'm frowned upon, I am cast aside. Ladies and gentlemen, it is a sad day when we speak about coal like this and we do not remember that the very lessons of coal are because our greed has not made us listen to him. When he was sick and polluted our environment, we could have helped him, but we said nothing. So to you emerging technologies, listen to what Cole says. I did not know, but be careful and learn the mistakes that I have for the past 200 years. Thank you. <laughs> 